Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass to Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. Just the fact that I have to explain this is very sad. You know what ticks me off? Hypocrisy. Now follow me. I've always said that the social media could be a wonderful thing for humanity, but it can also be a real shit fest because there are always miserable people who will disagree no matter what is posted. If I posted something so simple like, I want a kitten, some people would respond, oh, what's the matter? You don't like dogs? You know, this is a problem for me, especially when a lot of my posts touch on subjects that are a little more intense than liking kittens. But here's where I'm going with this. My posts aren't actually political, but like kittens and dogs, some miserable bastards don't get what I'm trying to say, and their arguments are usually hypocritical, and some only want to hear what they want to hear. As an example, how hard is it for anyone to understand that when I said you can't be a patriot if you support Nazis and display a Nazi flag, but some people actually argue with me. Very few, but some did. My whole point is that you can't be for America if you're also for the Nazis. They are the exact opposites. But some people still disagree. It's like protesting for human rights while you have people tied up in your basement. I didn't say all patriots are Nazis. I said the ones that fly Nazi flags are. Don't be a hypocrite. Or when I called out Mitch McConnell for the stupid things he said about New York and blue states going bankrupt. I wasn't taking a side. I wasn't saying blue is better than red or Dems are better than Republicans. I was saying don't force any state, any state, to have to declare bankruptcy. It's a common sense approach based on how painful it would be to allow or force a state to go bankrupt. And of course, New York is my hometown, so I was upset that McConnell was directly attacking my home. But you got the idiots. Well, if you love New York so much, why did you move? Hey, I love my mother, but I had to move out of a house at some point. What the fuck does one thing have to do with the other? You can't move and still love your hometown? Some people saw this as an attack on the Republicans, which of course it wasn't. I even pointed out that most Republicans didn't agree with McConnell. But this is the mentality of some people, and I can tell you this isn't good for our country. You know, there's a famous saying that goes, me thinks you dot protest too much. You know what that means? It means oftentimes if you protest a little too much, a little bit, it means you're probably guilty of whatever you are protesting against. Like when you see certain politicians who go hard after gay and lesbian rights and they even go so far as to say really horrible and hurtful things like gay should be killed or AIDS was God's way of dealing with gays. Then so often you find out that that politician or religious person who took that hard line stand came out as a homosexual. It's like... They were so self-hating and so afraid to face who they really were that they fought it to the point where they were hurtful to others and ultimately themselves. Me thinks you dot protest too much. One ticked off Vic I did was about how dangerous it is for trucks and cars to not clean snow and ice off before they go on the road. And I had some, a few truckers who said fuck you and thought I was personally condemning all truck drivers. No, 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 no. I was only saying that those truckers who have shit flying off their trucks are wrong to not clean them. Me thinks that protest too much. Get it? On another rant, I said I hate it when road crews leave signs up and when there isn't even work being done and people are scrambling to change lanes and it's dangerous and it fucks up the traffic padding, I was pointing out only those crews that do that or those times when it happens. It does happen, you know. I didn't dream it. And I didn't point out all crews. And of course, some people got upset. Protest too much? Hmm, look. I'll say this until I'm blue in the face or until my face gets red. How about that? Blue in the face or my face gets red so no one from either party gets offended? I don't take sides with a political party. I look for the common sense answer that suits humanity. 
I will never blindly follow a political or party platform. There's too many moving parts that I agree and disagree with for both parties. My son is gay and I accept him. That doesn't make me controversial. It makes me a loving father and a decent human being. And everyone should accept all people, regardless of their race, creed, color, sexual preference, any other factor, because that's the right and decent thing to do. For me, it's the only way a person should behave. I think we should help the less fortunate. I like my legal firearms, but I think we need to have background checks. I want the rich and the large corporations to pay their share in taxes. I think if certain politicians and wealthy people are going to argue that we shouldn't manufacture things in China and we should bring manufacturing back to the U.S., then they need to stop manufacturing things in China. Get it? It's called hypocrisy, and no one should be afraid to call out that bullshit. Open your eyes. Open your mind. Don't be in a cult. Be able to admit when people on all sides are wrong and right. Be decent to others. Be decent to animals. Be decent to nature. Just be decent. It's not that hard. Or maybe thou dot protest too much hypocrisy. That's what ticks me off.